It's the NFL on EA Sports, and we are at Highmark Stadium in upstate New York. Coming up, we've got what should prove to be a good one between the Green Bay Packers and the Buffalo Bills. And we are underway in Buffalo. From his end zone, Isaiah McKenzie. And no alley to be found. The coverage was solid, and he's dropped at the 18. Allen going to look to throw on the first play. That's caught by his tight end, Dawson Knox. And he'll be corralled right around the 34. 16 yards on the game's first play and a quick first down. Here's Allen to throw it. Packer pressure and down he goes. Preston Smith comes in for the sack. Second and 20. Another try after the first down sack. Allen, the throw on target to his receiver, McKenzie. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. So into Packer territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 49-yard line. First carry for the brother of Dalvin. It's James Cook. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. On second and seven. Allen. He finds his man complete. It's McKenzie. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off by Jair Alexander. And the Packers are going to take possession of the football as they force the turnover on the opening drive. Rodgers will break the huddle and bring the pack up first and 10 right at the 50-yard line. Now the man from UTEP, this is Aaron Jones. Knifes his way forward here, but just three yards on the play. Second down. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Here's Rodgers. Caught on the right side by Jones. And he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30. It's a gain of 16 and a first down for the green and gold. To throw, it's Rodgers. Under pressure, and down he goes. They sack him back at the 36. So second and long, and got to be careful not to fall out of field goal range. Another try after the first down sack. Rodgers. They're going for Lazard, but this is intercepted. Picked off by Micah Hyde. And the Bills are going to have great field position here as this is returned just shy of midfield. So consecutive interceptions here early on in this one and maybe setting the tone, Charles, for a game where the defense really takes center stage. And don't you think that both offenses are really catching a bit from their coaching staff about avoiding these turnovers that we've seen early? I think both teams are trying to find an advantage. We know that. Can one of them break away and take control of this game? He's going to fire one deep over the middle. Oh, that's into double coverage and intercepted. Picked off by Darnell Savage. And now off to the races, down the right side. And into the end zone. It's a pick six and a Packer touchdown. Well, what a response by that defensive unit, Charles, because they just saw their offense throw the interception. They come out there, not only get an interception of their own, but they take it back for the touchdown. I won't sing it because no one wants to hear that, but perhaps an early case of anything you can do, I can do better between these defenses. 
a lot of people came to expect the offense to light this game up, but so far, the defenses are stealing the show. Extra point up and good by Crosby, and it's now a 7 nothing game. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. McKenzie now from his end zone. And he's only going to make it to the 13-yard line and no further. Buffalo offense ready to go for their next drive. And job one here, Charles, just keep possession of the football. Two drives, two turnovers to this point. You're exactly right, Doctor. Hippocratic oath, first do no harm. But right now, they're harming themselves on offense. I like that. No one is mistaking me for a doctor, though. But thank you, Dr. Davis. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Allen. Another target for Stephon Diggs, and he brings it in. Finding room at midfield, down the left sideline. And he'll be brought down at the 27. I don't think there's anyone who could possibly doubt how fast he could run in the open field. But if there were, he silenced those thoughts there. Throwing now is Allen. He finds his man complete. It's McKenzie. And they're going to be set up now with a ball at the 13-yard line. Operating from the red zone now, Allen. Touchdown, Bills! Dawson knocks a touchdown grab from Josh Allen. And the Bills are an extra point away from evening this one up. Extra point by Bass, up and good. And we are tied at seven. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. And not much on this one. Takes it from the 21. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. They had the interception last drive, led to the tying touchdown. So 7-7 to score as they begin first and 10. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. The tackle is made by Micah Hyde. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. Now Rodgers. And that is knocked away in the middle of the field and incomplete. And this is a half for not just the coverage, but the entire defense is setting the tone in this game. Come up to the line now, facing a third and ten after the incompletion. From the gun, it's Rodgers. He finds Randall Cobb on the completion. And Watson has it, right side. And they'll get him down on the other side of midfield. An ex-teammate used to tell me all the time, I hate experienced quarterbacks because no matter what, you really can't hide what you're doing. And I think that right there, he knew right away where the blitz was coming from, where his primary guy was going to be, and he ended up going to a secondary target for a nice game. I was just going to ask you, that wasn't the primary target. He's so good at that, isn't he? I think he knew right away that he wasn't going to get to his primary guy. I think he read that as soon as he got to the line of scrimmage, knew where the pressure was going to come from, and said, ah, I know how to beat that, and that's what he did. They'll try and run for it with Jones. That is not going to be any help as they dump him behind the line of scrimmage. 
Losing two yards that time, and now it's fourth down. When a draw works, it can be a thing of beauty. But when it does it, oh, it can be ugly. And in this case, loss of yardage ugly. Rodgers to throw for it on four. That'll be complete to Alan Lazard. And he is going to have a Packers first down as they manage to convert. And that'll keep the drive alive. Rodgers now to throw. And he's going to be taken down here. A sack back at the 32. The Packers going to use one of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Another try after the first down sack. Rodgers. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Jair Elam makes a pick. There he goes, right side. And he will not get all the way home, but he will take this back down to about the two-yard line. He had his eyes on the end zone. He got close. At least he set the offense up nicely, but he's probably mad he didn't take that one to pay dirt. I agree with you, and you know he's going to get teased because he didn't get it all the way into the end zone. But if they don't score now, if they don't get a touchdown, he won't just get teased. They'll be glaring at him. How'd you not score? On second and goal, Allen. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Buffalo touchdown. Josh Allen taking it in for four yards out. And the Bills will take the lead here in the final minute of the first half. Extra point by Bass, up and good. And that makes the score 14 to 7. To the touchdown bass to kick it away this one taken just inside the 10 and not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23 ready to get their next drive underway. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively, they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. Now the Packers going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 20 seconds to go in the first half. Second and four. Throwing is Rodgers. And Rodgers intercepted a third time. And the Bills are going to take possession of the football. An unfortunate sequence there, trying to get points before intermission, but now the interception, and their opponents have a chance to possibly pound their lead. Yeah, they had an opportunity there, and they weren't able to capitalize on it. And that's something that could come back and haunt them later. They're begging their defense now to keep them from scoring before the half ends. And they'll burn the timeout with five seconds left. A chance to try to add three points before heading to the locker room. Now here's a pass on first down that's knocked away and incomplete. He came through well with a nice pass breakup there. Fortunate that he was on the spot. He's the only guy left to prevent the first down. A final shot before half for Allen. And his throw is incomplete. And that'll do it for the end of the second quarter. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. And how about this line out of the locker room? An onside kick attempt. 
Bills say they have it, and they do. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. They'll start following the interception in great field position at the 45. A running on first down is Cook, but he didn't find much there. Call it a gain of three, second down. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play? It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that feeling like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. It's brought in by Jamison Crowder. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. On first down, Allen. He will find Diggs in the end zone. Touchdown, Buffalo. Stephon Diggs. A 24-yard touchdown. And the Bills come right out of the locker room and score here in the opening minute of the third quarter. Extra point by Bass, up and good. And it's now 21-7. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. This is taken way up at the 25. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. They make their second half debut here. Things are looking a little bit tougher now. You give up the points there, Charles. Now look out, Rodgers. Lost the football. Fortunate to get that football back. Because trailing here in the second half, last thing they needed was to lose the possession. And the word I think of here is opportunity. Because it could have been lost there. Their chance to score points. But the opportunity for the defense was to go ahead and really close this game down if they were able to get possession. On second down, it's Jones. He'll get three, but it leaves him with a big hole here on third and very long. On play action, Rodgers. He's got a man. <laughs> oh, you get bailed so much, bro. to about the 48-yard line. Well, they still have time to get him established, but in my estimation, they've got to pick up the urgency here. They've got to get quickly in and out of the huddle and run off a bunch more plays. From just shy of midfield, Rodgers. A throw complete to the tight end, Tunyon. And he's got a first down as the tackle made at the Bills' 41-yard line. Working from the gun, Rodgers. He'll drop this underneath for Jones. And he'll be marked down at about the 26-yard line. Off the play fake to Jones. Here's Rodgers. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked off by Micah Hyde. And the Bills are going to...